What's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. We got something special today. We're gonna to be making these soft shell crabs straight from Gulf Runner Seafood. We're gonna be making some little po' boys today, toothpick style with some Hawaiian buns. Stay tuned, I'm telling you it's gonna be good. So let me just walk you through what you're going to need or what you're going to prefer to choose. This is what I chose. So what we got over here, I got some roumelade, and I just went out and bought some Louisiana roumelade sauce, and I got some dill pickle relish. I got about two tablespoons to about half a bottle of that. We'll be mixing that up. Then we got some meat church, holy voodoo right here, okay? Some lemon pepper. Some Drago's garlic butter, you can get that from Gulf Runner also. I use that for the bread to toast that in. And of course, some Crystal's hot sauce. Now over here, I got about three eggs to about a cup of milk, cup and a half maybe, and put some of that, about two or three tablespoons of Crystal's hot sauce in there. And then the breading I'm gonna use today, I'm using Zatarin's fish fry. So let's go ahead and get that cut open. You need about a bag of this, because I'm going to be frying some shrimp up today off camera. I'm going to be showing you that. Um, that's for another video, but we're going to fry that with this soft shell crab. Get that all in there. Okay. Now, this is already pre-seasoned, but that's where my meat church comes in. Okay. Then, you want to typically, you want to mix it with the flour, but I got the meat church chicken fried breading. He uses for fried chicken and, you know, for chicken fried steak. So we're gonna do this. Let me get this open. <laughs> Make sure you have some sharp shears. Okay. Get that open like that. Pour that all in there. Okay. Now I know that looks like a lot, but once we start dipping, it'll take up majority of that um, breading. Take you some of this holy voodoo. And I, I got a little bit left. I've got about a tablespoon and a half. Put that in there. Put your seasoning in there. And then I'm going to reach over here and grab some of my seafood magic right here. And I'm going to put that in there. Just a couple little dashes. Now, I'm going to go over here, take this whisk, and get it all mix, mixed up. Get it mixed up pretty even, just like that. Incorporate all that seasoning in there, okay? And that's looking pretty good. All right, so let me show you. Now I've cleaned majority of these, so I left a good one to show you how we clean. You know, you see they're pretty soft. They're in the state in the what soft shell crabs are. They're in the middle of shedding their old shell and waiting on the new shell to come in. So what I did, you can take some shears and do this. Just take your hands and, it, and they pull off pretty good. Take off the mouth. Okay, I kind of put that to the side. Take my eyes out, just like that. And you can cut this off with some scissors, like I said, but really no need. Now, you want to turn it over, take the apron, pull it back because it's already soft and kind of just wiggle it off and get everything off just like that okay now now this is where the undershell used to be now we want to there's some little bit more of the mouth take that off right there <laughs> lift the shell just like that now that's where your gills are reach back just pull them off be easy with it just like that now i typically hit it with a little bit of seasoning just like that on that side, just like I did the other ones, okay? Then take those off. Here with a little more seasoning. And voila, that's all you gotta do on that. So now, we're gonna mix this egg wash up real good. Get it all mixed up, get that 
you know, hot sauce. You can add a little more if you want. Obviously, you can't do it to taste because it's, you know, raw eggs. And just about, this is like that. So what I'm going to do first, okay? Now, we got some oil over here. Let's look over here. Now, I got a Dutch oven on an induction cooktop, or you can use a gas stove, anything you want. But I got this up between 350 and 370 degrees, okay? And I got me a little fry basket, and I filled it with some peanut oil about halfway. All right, so what I'm going to do first, take your crab, okay? Take your crab, and I'm going to get my milk right here in the middle. And we're going to put this in just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to bread it with this hand. All right. Get that breading all over there. Just like that. Now, take that. Use your other hand for the wash. Okay. Pick it up. Let it drain a little bit. Throw it right back in your breading. Okay. Take that dry hand. Kind of throw it over. Get it all in there. Where you get a little thicker bread and turn it over, make sure you get all between the crevices. Okay. Shake it off a little bit. Now let's put it over this fryer. We're just gonna lay it in. See how that that's how you know your grease ready. Lay it in there and just let it fall. Now they don't take long to fry. We're gonna let that fry up maybe three or four minutes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and batter the rest of these. When we come back, we'll show you how it's gonna look when it's done. All right, everything is done. Look at the soft shell crab right here. Man, came out looking real good. Real golden brown. Fried real good on the bottom. So I'm gonna take some of this seafood magic. I'm just gonna give a little sprinkle right there. And then I'll come over here with the rest of it. Hit the shrimp, hit the crab. That's about enough. Let's show you how to make one of these sandwiches, okay? So, you got your bread. You're gonna take some of your pickle roumelade, put it on the bottom, okay? Put how much you want on there. Get it real saucy if you like, okay? Then you wanna take your some lettuce, however much you want, give or take. Just like that. Throw you a slice of tomato down, okay? I like more pickles, so I'm gonna throw me three more pickles. Then, you wanna hit yourself a couple pieces of shrimp. It's about three shrimp on there for right now. Move that back. Put your crab on top, just like that. Now, you're gonna hit it with your little hot sauce. about good enough and then voila put that bread on top and that's gonna be toothpick style po' boy with all right guys I had a little sound loss right there didn't even notice it but hey we got some deep fried soft shell crab and the po' boy style sandwich toothpick style not your typical one but we're gonna go ahead and give this a taste i know it's gonna be good and guess what it was good guys you gotta try this recipe hey thanks to go for the seafood for providing soft shell crab and all the good seafood they always provide you can catch up with them on facebook links in the description hey hit the notification bell hit that like button and subscribe that helps my channel till next time guys toothpicks
Hope you enjoyed the video.